Hi everyone, so uh, welcome to one of our graveyards, <laughs> radio graveyards and this time I want to explain you why uh, vintage car radios cost a lot, okay, since I get this question, um, com this is common question, okay, uh, people asking me why this and this radio, are you crazy, where did you get these prices from Golden Reserve and whatever, you know. So I will explain you now just a bit why uh, vintage and old car radios cost a lot money. Okay. So first thing is service. Um, you can go to eBay, um, find any of these radios like for 20, 30, 40 dollars or euros, whatever. I can bet a hundred percent that you will receive not working or halfway working. They no good. <coughs> So service alone costs a lot because there is not many people who will will deal with the vintage stuff, okay, vintage radios. Um, so th this is the first thing. The service, uh, the electrician uh, or mechanic has to know how to deal with uh, cassette mechanisms, lasers and all of that. Also the upgrades, if you want to uh, all old radio with uh, Bluetooth Bluetooth installation alone cost money so this is the first thing the second thing I want to show you here is a for example here is Audi better radio this is basic okay nobody wants basic radios um, people always want the high-end even even though the radio is original everyone wants um, high-end original radio which is for example Audi or Volkswagen Gamma okay Gamma or uh, design so um, they are rare hard to find and everyone wants it so this is the second reason why they cost a lot because it's pretty rare to find second reason uh, third reason sorry it's um, the condition um, nobody wants like very scratched uh, you know radios everyone wants in top-notch condition so this is the third reason the condition even though with the aftermarket radios nobody wants like uh, those okay they are um, low-class radios everybody wants like high high class even the peer pioneers or all pioneers or gbc no matter even though the blown point look nobody wants this one everyone wants that one <laughs> and this is a huge massive difference okay so if you combine everything together like service condition its rarity and um, then radio will cost a lot some of them can go up to a thousand like 500 seven euro, 700 whatever okay one more thing i want to mention uh, about the service okay why the service cost uh, big money sometimes cost big money because there is no new parts this is why we keep the graveyard we have like plenty plenty this is one one of our places we have a couple of them with uh, with radio with uh, vintage radios so uh, most of the time it's impossible to get new pa new parts for vintage stuff okay so this is why we keep the broken radios sometimes we use the buttons sometimes we use something from inside and um, you know and not all the time we succeed to fix the radios because we can't get the parts simply it's very simple <coughs> so yeah but we do service if you if you have anything if you have some radios and you need to, f to get it fix it um, Simply contact us or visit our website and we will see, uh, we might help you. Um, also, you don't have to buy the radios from us, you can, you can hunt the radio yourself, like from eBay. Old one, not serviced one, and um, yeah, we will help you. And um, that's it, that's all I want to say. Cheers and thumbs up. <laughs>